Hello again. Uh, recently, I visited Salt Lake City for the very reason that actually the reason is completely confidential, don't ask. But while there, I stayed with this lovely family, who I don't mind saying are the finest Airbnb hosts I've ever stayed with. Now, what you are about to hear is a coincidence of epic proportions, okay? So shortly after I arrived at the house on August 17th and became acquainted with the family for the first time, I began a conversation with Noelle, the daughter of the family. It had been brought to my attention that she had lived abroad in London earlier in the decade, so I figured we could trade stories about English life and laugh at each other's pronunciation of tomato and talk about British comedy, you know, the usual stuff. Um, when I asked her where exactly in London she had lived, she responded with West Hampstead, a place I recalled but wasn't altogether certain, had also been the home of my eldest brother. Uh, geographical uncertainties notwithstanding, I told her that my brother was and is the editor-at-large of Londonist, a successful London-focused news, food and entertainment website, and casually inquired if she was familiar with the site. Her eyes lit up. I actually gave a featured interview to Londonist, she said. It's true, in 2014, Noelle had undertaken the extraordinary mission of walking the length of every single street in central London, something which grabbed the attention of not just Londonist, but BBC London. So I pressed forth with my line of questioning. Do you happen to recall the name of the interviewer? Understandably, she did not. However, the great thing about digital works is that they could be pulled up in five seconds on a smartphone. While Noelle did precisely that, I mentally noted all of the possible writers I could recall from my own brief stint contributing to Londonist. Could it have been Chris, the foodie, just looking to branch out? Perhaps it was Lindsay, who reviewed one of my plays in Camden. Or more likely, it was one of hundreds of contributors I'd never actually heard of. Before I could continue my internal conversation, Noelle located the article and read aloud the name of the person in the byline. Matt Brown, she said with rising inflection, as if to ascertain whether or not the name rang any bells. My jaw dropped. That's my brother, I said, prompting Noelle's mum to chuckle at what she initially assumed was a joke. And who could blame her? I mean, even when I lived in London, a city of 8 million people, I'd have been relatively floored by such an encounter. But this was Salt Lake City, almost 5,000 miles from England's capital. You know, I could have stayed at 650,000 different Airbnbs across the country or even 100 million other households and, and not have found a link to Matt. And after I relayed the coincidence to Matt later that evening on Twitter, he responded in very typical Matt Brown way. Say hello from me and enjoy your trip. I duly did both, safe in the knowledge that the world is a very small place indeed. How bloody crazy was that? Once again, uh, I can't reiterate enough, just what a good experience though it was staying at the Airbnb of Steve and Mary. So if you ever find yourself needing a place to stay in the Salt Lake City area, I would highly recommend uh, Steve and Mary's uh, Airbnb. I've put a link to that in the description box below, as well as a link to Noelle's website so you can uh, check out uh, her story behind visiting uh, every Every single street in central London. Thank you once again to all of our patrons for your constant support. We're very pleased to see that we've gained uh, a number of new patrons here in the last few days since Vlogmas started. And speaking of Vlogmas, isn't it going well? I hope it is. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, well, uh, we have put up a playlist now, so if you missed any of the Vlogmas videos, you can check those out uh, by clicking on the uh, playlist link right there. Um, and don't forget, if you are a first timer to my channel, uh, why not hit my stupid little face to subscribe. All right, thanks everyone. Bye.